Hey guys, it's Cdust here, and today I'm going to be showing you the tips and tricks that I use to improve my FPS on Fortnite. Yeah, I used to have pretty bad PC, I just recently upgraded it, and I did all these optimization settings. I was getting like probably 144 consistent, now I'm getting like 160 consistent, guys. See, about 20 FPS increase, but this tutorial will really help you out if you have a bad PC, like a low end PC, but it does work for high end PCs still. So the first trick that I'm going to show you guys is on NVIDIA control panel. So you're going to go ahead and click on it. Okay. Go to 3D settings and I'm going to turn these to the setting that I have it right now. This just gives you the best performance on Fortnite. You'll get more frame rate. It'll be great. So yeah. So I don't really know what these do. It just really helps out your frame rate. Program settings, don't really mess with that, does not matter. Okay, now we're going to go to just image settings with preview. You going to go right here, you're going to do use my prefer preference emphasizing, click on this, make this from quality to performance, this is just going to give you a lot better frames, this probably just gave me most of my frames right here just doing the settings. So yeah, you're going to click on that. Okay. We did that. So yeah, you're going to get a lot more frames by just doing this right here. Now, for the next trick I'm showing you guys is on Windows power settings. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and search up power and sleep settings. So you go ahead and go right here. Additional power settings. You're going to go to high performance right here. Favors performance, but may use energy. So yeah, use that right there. Just prioritizes it. Um. Now I am going to show you guys some stuff I learned from Task Manager. So yeah, just gonna go ahead and open it. See, I just have all these tasks in the background. Not using up too much CPU usage right now, but they will when Fortnite is running. So yeah. What I would suggest Xing out, just X out things like Discord. You don't really need the Epic Games launcher running when you're playing the game at all, unless you want it for some reason. So yeah, go ahead and X that out. If you have things like your Logitech G Hub, keep that. Go ahead and X out Skype, X out all that stuff that you have that you just don't need on your computer. It's gonna give you more CPU usage. Less CPU usage. I'm sorry guys. Um and open our GeForce experience, guys. I'm gonna show you guys some driver stuff see so, yeah, you're gonna go right here and if you need to update your drivers to go right here see I have one right here it's the game ready driver so you yeah, go ahead and update this because it's, they're just gonna squash a lot of bugs in the next driver update it probably can give you a couple more frames guys and prevent glitches from happening so that's always good okay now I'm gonna be showing you guys my Fortnite settings here we are in Fortnite and I'm going to show you guys the settings that I use. These are the best settings, I'd say, for me. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, just go ahead and look at this. So we were playing in full screen. If you play in windowed full screen, you're just going to get a lot more input lag. Your game is going to feel worse. You're just going to get less frames. So don't use that. If you have a bad computer, I'd suggest 1600 by 900 right here. It just looks really clean and sharp. It feels like stretch res, really, but it doesn't change your field of view at all. 1280 by 720 I mean it's fine but it looks really bad in my opinion if you go right here I have my frame rate limit at 144 FPS just cap it at whatever your refresh monitor's refresh rate is 3d resolution if you have a bad PC turn that down like 1600 by 900 is like right there -ish. so and then also view distance if a bad PC put this down on medium and but I use it on epic it just gives you a little bit of advantage if you look on shadows have that off it just makes the game completely darker harder to see things and it uses up a lot of your graphics card performance anti-aliasing turn that off it doesn't really matter it's just a cosmetic thing textures I have it on low it doesn't really change if you put it on epic or high really it doesn't look that much different in my opinion of course and effects these will just use a lot of your graphics card performance have that on low Post-processing low also. V-Sync, have that off, it creates input lag. Motion blur, have it off, it can give you like motion sickness and there's really no reason to have it on at all. It's just a cosmetic kind of thing. 
show FPS, it's just preference. Multi-threaded rendering. If you have a um, processor with a lot of cores and threads, use this, I'd say. Like, four cores, you can probably have it on, but, like, I have a eight-core processor, so yeah, I definitely have this on. It optimizes all your cores and threads for Fortnite. Okay, guys, so we're gonna go down here. And you see here, I have NVIDIA highlights off. If you like this, then you can turn it on, but, I mean, it'll drop your frames a lot. That's what I noticed. So yeah, record replays, plays, have that off. You don't need it. Unless you do need it. Record large team replays, I have that off. And record creative mode replays, I also have that off. I mean, replays, it's nice sometimes, but if you have a really bad computer, like a low-end computer, you're probably gonna want to have that off. So also guys, at the cover, visualize sound effects, which I would just have it off unless you are actually impaired and you do need this because, I mean, it's gonna drop a lot of frames, especially in the end game when there's just like 40 people in the last circle moving around and building. All those effects are just gonna make your game lag like crazy, even with a high-end PC. It's crazy. Okay guys, that is all for my Fortnite settings. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like down below and also subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications if you want to see more stuff from my channel. See you guys in the next video.